So hey everyone, exchanges are being raided, South Korea 7 crypto exchanges raided as Terra Luna fiasco continues. Can you guys believe this? I mean, that's pretty crazy. Be sure to smash that like button. Um, and that's what we are going to be seeing. Uh, also, there's so much to talk about this week. Like... I've been talking a lot about Terra Luna Classic relation. I'm not too f scared for Terra Luna Classic. I mean, Terra Luna 2 is not really affected by this. But where does this end? Post the Terra Luna collapse, there's been an abundant influx of shocking discoveries coming in from South Korea, right? There's been a lot of investigations, and right now they're doing just that, investigating. This doesn't mean, you know, Terra Classic is in trouble yet, as a lot of people have been saying, but it does mean you have to be careful of what you read and, and what you presume, right? Because the information is out there and how you want to accept it is your responsibility. But into these platforms confirming that it went through an adequate vetting process before listing UST and Luna, uh, they took, you know, basically them uh, having to provide all details of what happened, how it happened, uh, all of that, all you can do. South Korean prosecutors raided several crypto exchanges as part of their investigation into the terror crash. Crypto exchange giants such as Upbit and Bitdump and CoinOne, along with four other local exchanges, were raided. Additionally, according to local news, the raids were extended to eight other places, including the homes and offices of people involved in the case trying to scour for information. South Korea became an epicenter of Terra Luna collapse. Before Terra Luna collapse, the company confirmed that the dissolution of South Korea headquarters followed by a shift to Singapore. South Korean media became to unveil lots of secrets for Terra Luna Classic. So what I'm trying to say here is they started looking into everything. Uh, and being a paper company, while well, majority of its operations continue to take place in South Korea, they started investigating Terra Luna Classic and what actually happened. Because believe it or not, a lot of the holders weren't actually from the US for Terra USD. A lot of the people that, that lost money have been buying Terra USD because it was a Korean project and they believed in the project. It was maybe 20 people, uh, 200,000 people, and maybe someone bought, you know, $1, maybe someone bought $8 million. And of course, it was a big, a big crash and probably one of the biggest in the history of crypto. The local media also presented distressing strats after the collapse, pointing that about 200,000 investors in South Korea presumed to have invested in Terra USD and Luna. Uh, following this, the, the country's regulatory watchdogs, including the Financial Service Commission, sought local crypto exchange operations to share information. So they're just looking for more information, seeing if there's any wrongdoing. This is why I'm not afraid for Terra Luna Classic. Is You just got to be really careful what you look into. But Terra Luna Classic still has that update, still has that community. And that's what we need to see. The South Korean venture capital hashed was found to be amongst the top Terra investors who took a hard hit. They suffered $3.5 billion. So if you're having a, a bad day, um, imagine this venture capital from South Korea lost $3.5 billion, according to, to CoinMarket data cap from April. I'm not sure if this is verified. I mean, $3.5 billion is a lot of money. Did they really have $3.5 billion in Terra Luna Classic? Maybe they bought it very early. It's possible. Nobody knows for sure. Uh, but... 3.5 billion this is how much Binance had so it, it does it could be realistic and it invested like 5 million or something um, so what do you guys think about this uh, be sure to smash that like button and I'll keep you guys up with more news and this is really important to see like I want to see how this ends lots of people are now looking at Terra Classic and yeah it's it's, it's now having the great developers it needs to be be sure to smash that like peace out